to all my desperate friends, my asshole fucking husband's uncle, Gary Samuel Bruce, was living, I guess, in Defer for a while, and is friends with you all. Are you kidding me? You're gonna go along with these people? Are you fucking kidding me? They steal my kid, and you're gonna allow them to help them? Oh, we didn't want to raise Ben. Oh, it's it's biological. Well, God damn it! Then I should be a terrible person, then, huh? Then my kid's gonna be a terrible person. Why would you want my kid? If my kid's gonna turn out biological issues. Bullshit, it's the way you're raised. And that's why you stole her. Because you think that the way, if you raised my daughter properly, she'd be fine. Well, guess what? I was raised properly, too. Jeff just didn't have the emotional support. I got screwed on that part. But I was raised quite well. I was raised with prim and proper. I didn't speak back to my parents. I didn't curse. Shit, I didn't even smoke around my parents till I was over 30 years old. Does that make any friggin' sense? you, Gary. Pussy. Voice put that way. Forgot I am. So all you assholes who want to go along with these pussy ass bitches, you go right ahead. I hope that checkbook's well worth it. Because I did nothing wrong to all you assholes who treated me like dog shit in school. Who treated me like a goddamn shucking banana. At 16. And you wonder why I took a vow of celibacy. Abstinence. You don't know me from a hole in a wall, Karen B. Syracuse, you motherfucker. Scum of the earth. Look at this. You see how slutty she acts now? No wonder she probably watched pornography with her freaking husband. I didn't. I didn't really know what pornography was till I met your son. I touched base a little bit at, uh, at 28 years old. 29 years old. A little tiny bit of it. And my first husband will vouch for that because we never, ever, it never even crossed our mind to do that shit or watch that shit. Never! I'm sorry, Nadine. Go to hell! Jen, you know goddamn well how we are. We were growing up. I hung out with you. You didn't do drugs, neither did I. Except for I didn't have the friends to stick by me because y'all fucking drunks and drug addicts after I lost my first child as a miscarriage. And Chucky's mom's the one that told me because it was in my hand! Didn't know I was still pregnant, assholes! Call me some gonzo some more. You ain't worth shit. I will have as many Christian friends as I can. And you can hurt me and torture me all you want. Mentally abuse me. But you're gonna go down and you're going to hell. Because you ain't shit. And you steal more of my kids. And you're helping them make money off them while I sit here 
with clothes from my goddamn clothes back and the only money anytime I can get something is when I got money from the school. Because they give me fucking pennies. Well, get a job. Well, bitch, they shouldn't have got me pregnant because they wanted to steal my kid. They wanted a kid. Oh, my God, they wanted a kid. So get to her. She's, well, she's a good candidate. She's athletic. Her family's athletic. We just don't want, and they're smart. They're intelligent. But if we have her, them raise them, they'll be stupid. you Colleen! I had your boyfriend, bitch! You weren't shit to him! If you were, he wouldn't have cheated on. Obviously, you guys didn't do your jobs. And then you have Lisa's kid. What's that? You know, you help Lisa Churchill wear him in Steelman? Steel kids? When she, her family can't even keep her own. You got her brother's kid. Rotten hell. Rotten hell. <laughs> These guys made too much fucking money off me. The whole fucking entire state is fucking going to jail. Now I have a Washington Township cop. As a goddamn teacher, I really hope and pray that he's one of the good guys. He's a t captain for Washington Township for 20 years and he knows my fucking husband's neighbors who were cops in Washington Township who helped steal my kids. Him and his asshole sister Carrie Ann. Yeah. They had the cop at enter the Enterprise Rental Company. The day that I went there to get my car. To rent a car after they freaking ran out in front of me. When my husband put the fucking brakes on wrong. And caused me to have an accident. Fucking Joe Mason. You related to Tammy Mason who lives in Kathy's house? You related to Spaz? And Danny? Alright, this is enough. Let's see what kind of other freaking shit I sh freaking pull out of my ass. You fucking faggots. Why the hell? You're either for me, or I could fucking care less if you get your bitch hair ripped out, and your teeth busted, and your balls ripped off. Praise God. Praise God. I'll keep praising God till my words are of God, and justice is served.
Amen. Amen. Gary's my 